Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 10 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we get SEO based content of a remote website using Laravel. So if you don't know about SEO optimization I will give you a basic idea. So let's say you want to rank your website on the top pages or first pages which obviously you want I know. So in that case you, your website needs to be SEO optimized. And SEO contains specific parameter, for example, does your website have the title tag, description, how many H1 or heading ones are there, heading 2, heading 3, etc. And do you have, have the uh, alt uh, text for the images, uh, are your images optimized or not, and what is the load time of your website. And uh, yeah, so all these parameter combines and it makes your website SEO optimized so that you can rank it on the Google let's say first page or the top pages so yeah using this package you can create a tool for your website you uh, where user can simply input his website uh, let's say link and he will get the details but for that you have to put a lot of effort and this is just the starting point other than that you can use Google Analytics you can use uh, uh, DOM PDF or Gazelle HTTP client. So yeah guys, so for this video let's start and let's move to notepad which I have created like uh, every other video so in which I have already defined all the necessary steps to make this process easier uh, and simpler. So yeah, uh, I have wrote right here this package search for the main content of optimize uh, to optimize the SEO result for the content that matters. Okay, so step number one, first of all, you need to create a fresh Laravel project or you can use an existing Laravel project. It's totally up to you. Two commands to create a fresh Laravel project. If you have Laravel global install, you can simply use this command. Otherwise, you have to go for this one. Okay, in both the cases, SEO analyzer is going to be your project name. Uh, let's move to step number two. I have already created the project to save time and I will just show you. Okay, so sublime right here as you analyzer and git bash right here. Okay, so this is the actually the step number three. So let's access the project which I already did. Okay, step number four, uh, install the SEO analyzer package. So we can simply use this command right here and let's move to git bash. Make sure you have accessed your project and I'm going to simply paste it and hit enter. So this is going to take some time. So I'm just going to pause the video. Okay guys, as you can see, it's done. So now let's move to step number five, create a SEO controller. So let's do that. Let's move to git bash and right here, PHP, artisan, make, controller and the controller name would be SEO controller hit enter okay now let's move forward uh, regarding usage we will come to it uh, let's move to step number seven create a route so let's move to sublime web.php and let's edit this route we can simply use it so yeah why not app HTTP controllers and then SEO controller okay and this is a class actually and i'm going to use the method index in this controller so let's move to seo controller which we already created and let's create a method public function index okay now let's come to the usage part so actually regarding this uh, package we don't have much documentation as you can see right here just the basic idea that this is going to give you all these details of any website and this is the basic usage which we already have it so yeah let's move here and let's copy it and paste it in the controller okay so use facades as you facade okay and then let's just copy this one and we can simply paste it right here let's align the code okay let's save the result in result okay and then we can put any website right here for testing purpose i'm just going to use lorem ipsum so copy okay and let's paste it right here just like that so now we should have a result for that i'm just going to do diane dump so dollar result okay and in order to test it we need to uh, run the project you can see here okay so php artisan serve hyphen hyphen port 88 okay now let's move to google and let's access our project okay guys so as you can see we have the result and you can verify it for example title so let's view the page source so view page source and simply search title okay and you can verify it right here 
okay you can match it title and also you can look for the description okay so here is the description you can verify it okay now let's move to other details url title description language and load time okay you can get it full page we have a lot of fields we will come uh, to them one by one and we will uh, mostly look for the most important ones so yeah first let's see how can you access this simply so let's move to sublime okay and let's say if i want the title i can simply do result title okay and let's say if i want the description we can do it in this single go so result and let's say I want to see the description as well. And let's say I want to see the load time as well. So dollar result load time. Okay, so now let's move here and let's do a refresh. Just keep that in mind. It is going to take some time because it is fetching the results. So yeah, see, so this is the title description and this is the load time now uh, i'm just going to comment this one out okay and let's see the result why i will tell you because i want to show you how you can simply check the records and get the result according to your needs okay so we can simply display let's say if you want load time you can simply get it i have already showed you but now let's move to some realistic example actually title and description is also very important just keep that in mind so let's move to keywords let's say i want to check the keywords of that specific website you can simply get it and it's inside let's say full page and then i have to access keywords and then there is an array which contains key and the value so in this case i just want the keys okay because this is the keyword so yeah let's try to fetch it and for that i can simply use for each okay i'm doing die and dump uh, just below for each loop so you can match the records as well okay so dollar result okay then i have full page underscore page and then i have uh, let me verify it full page then i have keywords so keywords okay i want to get it as the key and the value and after getting the result i just want to echo the let's say key okay you can simply save it as well so dollar key and that's about it okay and i'm going to concatenate break line so every uh, key is separate or keyword is in a separate line so let's do a refresh okay guys so you can see uh, all the keywords right here and now let's try something else you can verify it as well as well okay now let's try to get the header count okay uh, this is also important so i want to check how many h1s i have and we already have the count we just need to access it so yeah full page headers so let's do that headers and i want it as key and the value and after that i want to display the key and then i want to show some result let's say h1 i have this one uh, this many h1 okay so after that we can simply do dollar value which is right here so these are in the value and i want the count value so count and that's about it concatenate the text and let's try it out let's do a refresh okay guys so you can see the result h1 i have one h2 four and we can see it right here just want to verify h1 and h2 okay so the other important thing is uh, let's say you want to display the images or you want to get the source of the images you can also do that so for that i have to access again full page images and then i have images again so let's try that so full page then images and then again images okay then key and value and in this case i don't want the key but i want the value and uh, in this case i want source you can also get the alt similarly okay so key and the value and in this case i simply want the value so we can simply do value and i want the source of the images let's give it a try okay guys so right here you can see the result so there is a lot of stuff that you can do uh, for the basic or let's say for the starting point this is a useful uh, package that you can use okay 
and you have the content of the website as well okay so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care